you for joining us tonight for our eight annual first virtual high tea and silent auction. My name is Dr. Sheila Gothard, and I am excited about joining again this year to represent a wonderful, wonderful organization here in Greensboro, North Carolina. We're excited because using this virtual format, we're able to empower more girls, get this information out globally, if we like, to inform our sponsors, our donors, our parents, our co-workers, our friends. So we're excited about joining in with you tonight. Tonight, we are going to have several giveaways. And we want to make sure that you're joining us later as we give gifts away. I have five wonderful t-shirts. I have one of these and I wear it proudly. I'm so excited. We also have some Amazon gift cards. So make sure that you stay tuned so you can see how you can be a big winner of this. Tonight, we're going to hear several uh, from several of our young ladies who are part of Empower Girls. And they know that the theme tonight is empowering girls for the future. And tonight you're going to see these wonderful ladies and you'll get an opportunity to help us because that's one of the reasons we want to share with you. One, how can you support us in supporting them into their future. I want to make sure that you understand you can go to our website at any time tonight and you can see the information and ways to sponsor at www.empoweredgirlsnc.com. Once again, www.empoweredgirlsnc.org. I may have said com before, but we know it's org, and you'll see all the information there. We also have a silent auction tonight, and you'll be able to get to that information as well from our website. Make sure you go to that website. There is wonderful things that we're auctioning out, and be careful because I'm going to be one of those people who are looking for some of those information. A great, great gifts. Now, as you could, as we said earlier, we have t-shirts, we have e-cards that we're going to be auctioning off. And please, please go to our website. Any donation will help. If you're looking for a way to support young women, give uplift their values, uh, programming, things like that, please, please, we do need your help during these times. And the girls absolutely would appreciate it. And you're going to see some of those young ladies tonight. Now, first, we're going to hear a testimony from one of our uh, parent liaisons, and she's also a parent member. And her name is Kimberly Anderson. And you'll also hear from her daughter, who's also Takira Shello. Hello, everyone. I'm Kimberly Anderson. I am a parent and a board member with Empower Girls of North Carolina. It is an honor and a pleasure to be here today. If it was not for Empower Girls, my daughter and I would not have been a part of this amazing organization. We had moved to Greensboro and we had only been there for a few months and was able to locate this program. I am so glad that Empower Girls of North Carolina is available to young girls to help them find their voice, find ways of getting social skills, leadership skills, and entrepreneur skills through this program. I decided to help and change other girls' lives, so I decided to join the board and become a part of the leadership committee and the entrepreneurship committee. And we're also hosting teen table talks, which I am a part of as well. I wanted to show that girls can do anything they put their mind to and Empower Girls has actually opened up those doors for my daughter to the point where she's able to now run her own business and also has the skills to become 
anything she wants in her future. Empower Girls has changed my daughter and my life, and I'm so honored to be a part of this program. Thank you for being here today. Have a wonderful day. Hello, everyone. I am Sakira Shello. Me and my mother moved to Greensboro with little to no friends or family. Empower Girls taught me to be more social and more open when it comes to being myself and inspiring others. Now I am currently an entrepreneur at the age of 15. I am a jewelry designer with my mother and I am preparing to start up my own cleaning business. I am close to finishing my first book of poetry also. Yay! Thank you Empower Girls for allowing young females to thrive in all things. Thank you for inspiring and God bless all of you. I am now going to read a poem that I myself wrote and I hope you enjoy. The name of the poem is Girls Will Be Women. As a female, I can speak fairly when I say we don't give ourselves a pat on the back as often as we should. We are pretty smart and beautiful and kind. We speak our minds when we can or when we feel we should. We are bright and our hopes and dreams are magnificent. We should stand tall even when others say we shouldn't. We should walk proudly, straighten up your crown, but don't forget to straighten a fellow queen's crown also. Be yourself, take responsibility, be courageous, stand up for yourself, be loving towards others. Do your thing, shine your light in the brightest way possible. You are enough. Be remembered as a person who is respectful, not the other way around. Be the best you. To, those wonder, to these wonderful ladies reading or being read to, Remember that you are perfect when you are yourself. You are the embodiment of empowerment. You are the goddesses of this nation and you are the voices of those who can't be heard. Don't silence your voice and don't shut out your light. Thank you so much for being here today. Enjoy the event. This is Takira Shello. Have a good one. Good evening, everyone. I am Brendan Muborn. I am the founder and executive director of Empower Girls of North Carolina. Thank you for coming out to share with us our eighth annual high tea event, our first virtual event. And this is exciting for me to uh, share with you. I hope our audience is broad and wide and you're here to hear about Empower Girls of North Carolina and what we do for the community and for girls here. We started this organization back in early 2000. My career was going well, but I didn't see many girls or young women, especially women of color in the field, in the companies that I work for, the companies that I interview for. And so I wanted to get out and share my skill with the families and, com and girls in this community. We started some workshops. We uh, did some things in churches and we decided to have a girls camp a week-long girls camp overnight and when we did that we realized with our girl talk program that girls need a little more than just starting out with IT without without about learning uh, IT skills computing those kinds of things so we want we wanted to address everything that we were finding and that created a more holistic program and so in 2014, we started Empower Girls of North Carolina after uh, serving as a community organization with another uh, organization called Girls Inc. And so this is our story. I want you to sit back and listen. And thank you for again for being here. Integrity. Respect. Self-worth. My name is Brenda Muborn. I'm the executive director of uh, Empowered Girls. Actually, I'm the founder of our organization. Kind of let me go back and tell you our story. We actually started back in 2000 uh, as a small organization called TechStart. Uh, my background was in IT and I really wanted to see more um, children 
and families using technology. We needed to start with some basic things. Uh, there were a lot of self-esteem issues, a lot of uh, situations where girls didn't really have the kind of dreams they should have. And so we decided that we would find curriculum um, to build the organization. Empower Girls of North Carolina offers programming to girls ages six all the way through high school. We offer programming and um, healthy relationships, healthy lifestyles, uh, good choices. We offer career planning, career choices. We offer programming in the STEM fields in the summertime. We offer uh, programming in um, academics and tutoring. We try to be a holistic program. We offer programming in um, the arts. We want to offer what they need. And that's one of the things we're doing right now. We're actually uh, doing surveys and talking to the girls, finding out exactly what they need. Because a lot of times we make assumptions and we find out there are things that are going on that we don't know about as adults. So uh, we want to grow to be the, an organization that can offer uh, girls a way to come together. We have to have support to grow an organization. And one of those supports is the board. The board is a backbone. And if you don't have a great board, your organization can't grow. Hello, my name is Kenneth Burgess. I'm the marketing director and also a member of the board of directors from Powered Girls of North Carolina. So some of the programs that we run are Girls Night Out, which are hosted every third Friday of every month. It's a fun environment for the girls as well as educational. And we also have our workshops and this these could be anything from STEM to media literacy to self-esteem and also leadership. We have a variety of programs that we offer to cater to the girl. Now also what's great about our organization is that we also tailor our programs and we change from year to year depending on the needs of the girls. I think one of the things we do well is girl talk. We let them express anything. And our first rule of uh, girl talk is nothing leaves the room. So whatever you say here, stays here, it's like Las Vegas. And the girls, they trust that, so they say whatever they need to say. And it's amazing how the other girls can help them through the issues they have. As a member of the Board of Directors, some of our future goals are to one day earn our own facility to empower more girls, as well as to increase our financial support to have more programming for our girls, and ultimately to have a database of hundreds of girls that we can empower in the community. For those families who have girls, we are really, our organization is based on you bringing your girls to our organization. We offer so much programming, but we also want to see our parents come and tell us what you're looking for. Be a part of our parent board, help us to make plans in our programming and our events, and just be a part of an organization that is really looking out for the girls in this community. How much have I impacted? I think, I feel that this is a, my ministry and I really, I look at the girls that have grown up with us from the beginning organizations all the way through and I see that I've made a big difference in their lives. They always come back, uh, they always volunteer, they talk about uh, things that they've done here with us as an organization. Uh, like some of the girls talk about, we gave them their first birthday parties. So I think one of the things we want to do is to just start with the basics and teach girls how to, how to grow, how to develop, how to see themselves as worthy of anything that they want, anything that they can dream, anything that they want to express in their own lives. It is a blessing to me to see that they're growing, growing up to be young women who have respect for themselves more than anything. Dr. Sheila, let's remind everyone of why we're here tonight, why we're celebrating this eighth annual high tea and silent auction. Okay. Well, one of the things we want to do is make sure that we have funding for our programs, mm -hmm. for our girls. Mm -hmm. They come first mm -hmm. before anything else. And so we have these flagship programs that we are 
raising funds for tonight, and our goal is $10,000 for these programs. We can do it. Our STEAM scholars ran last year, Mm -hmm. our teen table talk. Mm -hmm. We've only had one, but we're hoping to run that for a full year, and our entrepreneurs club. Okay. Well, it sounds like you're staying very relevant. We hope to be relevant. Yes, Yes, yes. absolutely. The young ladies actually have different needs than they've had in prior years. So you're doing some different things this year. Okay, great. Tell me a little bit about the table talk. One of the girls ran up to me and said something about TTT. (laughs) What what, what is that? Our team table talk. And I'm excited too. Table talk. Okay. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're addressing the community now. We're we're addressing girls who've had issues with the pandemic staying home. Okay. Being locked in the room pretty much. Locked in the house. Mm -hmm. On the computer screen all the time. Mm -hmm. And they're not out running around with their friends. Mm -hmm. They're not hanging out. Mm -hmm. They're not going to the movies. And so sometimes they get a little depressed. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they just want to express that anger, that explosion of feelings that teens Mm -hmm. get. And And so, yeah, we're giving them the environment. It's a safe environment because they have a licensed professional mental health coach. Oh, that's huge. And that is what they need. They need Mm -hmm. someone to help them when they have an issue that Mm -hmm. their, their peers can't answer. She can guide them and lead them in the way that they should go. Well, you know, I don't have a teen, but I do have a daughter who's an adult, and I would be elated to know that she's involved in this type of program with a professional who could assist her in some of the concerns that she may have as a teen. So that's awesome. See, what, five years ago, that teen didn't need that. But yeah. now these things are coming on the table. So that's a great program. Yeah, and absolutely because not just parents are raising kids nowadays. Right. There are grandparents raising kids absolutely. nowadays. Absolutely. And sometimes they get a little lost mm-hmm. in this new generation. So mm-hmm. having a program for teens like that is awesome. Well, what about education? Are you doing anything with uh, education and careers? Yeah. Things like, what, what, what's going on the there? The STEAM Scholars Program. STEAM. STEAM Scholars. So that a Science, technology, that... engineering. Oh, okay, okay. Arts and mathematics. Oh, all right. All Tell right. me a little bit about So, yes, that. this program opens the eyes of girls to careers that they may not know about. I mean, okay. they can maybe hear a mention, but mm-hmm. one of the things we offer in this program is actual professionals. Okay. Who come on and talk to them? We have architect, we have mm. uh, app builders. Mm. This is really app new builders. technology. Okay, robotics. Mm-hmm. We have people who are nurses or nurses practitioners, okay. physicians, and they come in or virtual. It's virtual, and they talk. But they to actually you. have demos. They have programs. They have powerpoints, and they have all this information where the girls get to. Hear about this program. And are they engaged? And, oh, gosh. They are really engaged. And the questions that they ask uh-huh. show that they're engaged. Okay. They're, okay. they're hearing things that they haven't heard about the career. I mean, just to hear architect. Hmm. Now we got a person who actually have a face. creates. Yeah. Who tells them what kind of buildings they, they have created. Uh-huh. What kind of rooms they have designed. Oh. What kind of communities okay. they've been involved in creating. Because they do more than just dye one building. Okay. Sometimes they design a whole community. Got so it. these are the wow. kinds of things that these girls are learning. And we are awesomely impressed with what they have learned in the years past. And we're going to start that back up in January. Okay, good. So we really need to go ahead and get that created. Okay. And now you have another program, I understand, that's pretty new as well. Very new. The and, Entrepreneurs. Okay. The Entrepreneurs Club, based on... The world as it is, uh-huh. people need to know how to start their own business. Sure, that's in home, right. grow it till you have your own brick and mortar. Mm-hmm. But learning the basics of business, marketing, sales, mm-hmm. all of that. Oh, great. And these girls are going to learn all of that. So that one hasn't quite started up yet, right? No, hasn't started. Well, that's where we need your help. Because mm-hmm. if you have resources, um, funding is helpful because we can bring people in. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited. I'm oh, excited I'm glad about you're that. excited about that. These yes. are great programs. Yeah. I didn't hear anything about entrepreneurship. 
yeah. when I was that yeah, age. Yeah, you're right. And so we were always taught, you know, different things. But now the world has opened up to them, and, you know, and you're doing a great job bringing that well, information to them. And right. one of the ways we're going to fund that is with our auction. Okay, yes, yes. And in the auction, there are some vacations, and there are some little trainings and learnings, and I there's a wine. Oh, all of them. I, awesome. They're awesome. But one of the great things about this option is you can also fund a program. Okay. Fifty dollars, okay. hundred dollars, hundred so five hundred dollars. You're telling me fifty hundred dollars could fund a whole program. Well, it could fund some girls. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, we we take all the small part, donations, uh -huh. put it together. Yes. And you have a whole. Yeah, yeah. Because people, this don't, to go people need to understand round. that they're five dollars, ten dollars bills yes. that five thousand dollar program. Oh yeah. Great. So Great. we're going to do that next. Yes. We will be running our auction. All so right. thank you guys. Somebody has to compete with me because I saw some wonderful things out there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. the time to listen or hear from our Girls of Distinction speakers. These young ladies are absolutely amazing. It makes me wonder, what have I been doing with my life? Because at the dear sweet ages of 11 and 13, Chef Javia and her sister, JCB, have their own business. They are owners and creators of products that are 100% natural, made out of soy-based information, and they've created and they make these things on their own. 
What's really impressive about these young ladies is that they have their own brick and mortar building. They also have an online business. So we're gonna hear from these two young ladies and be sure to check our website because we have more information, details, fun facts about these young ladies and we're happy to present them today as our Girls of Distinction. Hello everyone, my name is JCB. I am 13 years old, I'm actually I'm the co-owner of Chef JV System Crafts. I make all the body care products. And the reason I started making the body care products is I have very severe eczema. So I just want to make a product that can help my skin and everybody else's skin. Previously, before I co-owned Chef JV Sense and Crafts, I had my own nonprofit dance business where I taught other little kids how to dance. And I also made inspirational bracelets. But due to COVID, I had to shut down. But the good thing is I inspired my sister to start her business. Hey guys, uh, my name is Chef Javier. I'm 12 years old. I make all the all natural home care products. Um, I'm bilingual, so that I speak Spanish, yo hablo mucho español. Um, also like to code and do science. Also really, really love riding my bike. Um, how I balance school and running my own business is very simple because we're actually homeschooled, so we get to learn while we're at our store. We get to do like math skills when we're taking the money from the customers. I also get to learn technology skills when I'm trying to fix the system. Maybe there's a bug in the system, so I have to debug it. Um, also get to learn um, social skills, like meeting new people, networking, communicating. Also get to learn um, science when I'm making the products and chemistry, making new recipes or uh, looking up new recipes. And we just still do do online courses. Speaking of homeschooling and business, since we've been homeschooled, it has allowed me to advance really high academically. I'm only 13 years old and I'm actually a senior and junior in high school. I'm actually started taking college courses. Well, I just want to take a second to thank my family because they play a very important role when it comes to our business and school life. They are very supportive when it comes to our business. They help nurture our gifts and talents. They also help us every step of the way. They also help us when it comes to any issues we may be having with school or maybe our business and they also help us grow and then they also help us with any challenges or obstacles we may be going through. So thank you mom and dad. One of the challenges of being a young youth entrepreneur is that sometimes people think that women can't own their own business. Sometimes people call me salesman. I'm like, I'm actually a saleswoman. Get it right. Another challenge is that we often get overlooked and people think our parents own our business. But the thing is, we make all our products handmade and we have to teach them our recipes to help us fill up our store and help with the online orders. Um, another thing is we often... People are often skeptical about supporting us due to our age and our race. Um, how we adapted to COVID-19. COVID had actually hit us unexpectedly. We just opened up our new Haynes Mall store. After that, two weeks later, they said we had to shut down our store. We didn't even get to do our grant opening. After that, we shifted online, which was very new for us. But overall, online went very good. And we also got to expand our product line. That's when I started making my body butters. And we also got the opportunity to reach more people and get more of our products in more people's homes. Well, my model is dream start now. So make sure you're doing something that you really love to do and you can start working on it now. Make sure that you're working the hardest and make sure you're being the best that you can be. My motto is shine your light. So whatever you really love to do, make sure you shine it bright. What do you think of Empowered Girls of North Carolina? We think Empowered Girls of North Carolina is an amazing program. They support, educate, and empower girls. Thank you guys so much for having us and honoring us. If you want to find more about us, you can visit our website at www.chefjvsense.com or you can visit our Haynes Mall store in Winston salem by Cinnabon. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Well, everyone, wasn't that wonderful hearing about these two young girls who are entrepreneurs starting their own business and being successful at that. They do workshops, they create products, they do everything that any adult organization would do. So we're really, really proud of them and they plan to do some workshops for our girls. And so we're looking very much forward to working with them in the future and 
sharing some of their secrets, hopefully, uh, of their products and all the things that they do. We want to support them. So look for them on their website. Our Their link is on our website. So go out there and find that on our, our high tea page and support these young girls. Thank you. So this is our eighth annual event. And so to honor that, I want to share a few photos and slides of previous events. So sit back and listen, sit back and look, enjoy your snacks while you're doing that, enjoy your tea, and here we go. Welcome back. We're going to keep this wonderful high tea going, but what would a nonprofit be without volunteers? I'd like to introduce you to our Empowered Girls family, and this is Lakita and Kaya McIntosh. Kaya was recently interviewed by Spectrum, and we want to share a clip of her interview. And we'll also hear from Denise Dawkins, who is a volunteer. She'll share a testimony with how the t volunteering has empowered her. So if you're interested in getting some volunteer hours or you have a young lady who has some special interests that you'd like to share, that would be a wonderful opportunity. So again, you can go to our website, make sure you give us your information and we will contact you about volunteering. Listen in. Hi guys, I'm Kaya McIntosh. I'm 12 years old, I'm in the seventh grade and I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina. I've been a part of Empower Girls for about five years now. During my five years, I've been able to participate in summer camps and Girls' Night Out. Girls' Night Out is a time for me and my friends to do arts and crafts, round tables, vision boards, and to just have fun. I'm Lakeitha McIntosh, and I am grateful for the experience of Empowered Girls. It's given me bonding time with my daughter, mother-daughter time that... Um, allowed us to get to know each other a little bit better and allowed me the opportunity to have a positive uh, experience for my daughter and meet other girls in the community that are around her same age. So that was wonderful. We love the Girls' Night Out events. They typically happened on a Friday night for about two to two and a half hours and the activities range from icebreakers, where they had the opportunity to get to know themselves, to uh, workshops, small workshops, or speakers were brought in to teach and train the girls on a particular topic. There were some exercise uh, sessions where they were able to do um, something similar to Zumba. They also had arts and crafts. They were able to think about their goals and their dreams 
by participating in vision boards. And we just really love Miss Brenda. She is very patient. She's very kind. She's sweet. Um, she loves the girls dearly and she wants them all to do well in life. So we love Miss Brenda and we're grateful that we found Empowered Girls. And we've had the opportunity to share the Girls' Night Out events with some of Kaya's friends. So that was a really fun time. So we're looking forward to continuing to work with Empowered Girls in the future. Twelve-year-old Kaya McIntosh has had her hands full this past year. Pineapple is the yellow one. That's what back over here. A big lesson in responsibility. She's the proud mom to 10 parakeets, and she's watched them grow since she got them last year. And now, they're a big part of her life. These was actually the first bird that said, hey. I was jumping, I was screaming, I was just like, my mom won't have today. Kaya is also a pageant queen. She's Miss North Carolina preteen. When I heard I won, I was almost, I was gonna cry, but I did it, held myself together. I was super excited. The confidence she found to compete in that pageant stems from something a little deeper. Kaya is a part of Empowered Girls of North Carolina, a program that focuses on teaching integrity, respect, and self-worth to girls across the state. Kaya has taken part in their summer program for the past three years. It definitely builds my responsibility and it builds my character. The pandemic stopped the program's in-person summer camp last year, so Kaya's been spending more time at home with her brother Caleb. But she's looking forward to returning to summer camp in a few weeks. My favorite part is um, absolutely meeting new friends and we do group activities. From playing games of Mancala to learning and repeating positive affirmations. I am creative. I am bold. I am humble. I am respectful. Kaya's learned lessons in respecting herself and others around her. I can definitely say in the beginning I was really shy and I was very jittery and then after the couple years with Empower Girls, I carry myself different now. And most importantly, she's seen the growth in herself. Hello, my name is Denise Dawkins and I am a member of the North Carolina Empowered Girls Group Incorporated. I am a volunteer that has been a part of the organization maybe for about eight about eight years. However, because I relocated to New York, it has been a little difficult um, tea for me to participate in in-person activities. So I have um, contributed financially um, to the organization to make sure that if it's anything I can contribute or donate, sponsor, I have been a part of that um, uh that that part of uh contributing however with COVID-19 I was actually able to volunteer my services this year which was absolutely phenomenal I was a teacher I was a co-teacher for the summer camp for the young ladies and when I say I had a great time I had a great time it was wonderful to connect with young ladies and just help them um, address any concerns that they need build up their confidence their self-worth that was the thing for this summer was talking about self-worth and I just felt ecstatic communicating and connecting with the students via the internet um, I shared my own experiences when I was a young lady and I would have any um, situations or anything that I came across that I felt uncomfortable about letting them know that it is normal. It is okay to not feel your best, but you are the best. And one thing that I left the girls with was an acronym called GEM and they are glamorous, educated ma'ams. So that was the one thing I wanted them to take away and remember that for the rest of their um, teenage adolescent years is that they are a gem and so are you. So volunteering with Empower Girls, listen, it is something that we have to do. It is something that is mandatory because it takes a village to help our young ladies and our young men. So if you have any extra time, if you have a weekend you can spare if you have uh, a financial um, 
gift that you can support us, we would greatly appreciate it. The time we would really appreciate, but we also take financial gifts if you are able to do that as well. Definitely connect with us. Um, North Carolina Empowered Girls is a wonderful organization and I work, I work not physically work with, but I work along with some phenomenal women and we are here for the young ladies to help them along their journey and being an adolescent. So please, by any means, continue to connect with us, continue to share your, your joys, your information, your knowledge, any gems that you would like to contribute to the girls or to the organization we definitely would appreciate it okay thank you and have a good evening and enjoy the rest of the event well everyone we're coming to the end of our auction and our high tea and all of the wonderful things that we've talked about tonight i want to thank all of these wonderful uh, people who have come on and offered their testimonies uh their talents, Dr. Sheila, who is so wonderful and someone we count on constantly. I want to thank you and hope that you will remember to fund and support our flagship programs, the Teen Table Talk, our STEAM Scholars, and our Entrepreneurs Club. And you can do that on our website or you can go to our auction site, which will be in the description below, on, also on our website. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for supporting Empowered Girls for all these years. Eight years. We love you. Thank you for everything. And I just want to reiterate again, thank you. We can't thank you enough for sticking with us tonight, enjoying our high tea. We want to make sure you know that you can comment in the comment bar. Make sure you comment. I'll be there responding. Now, you can also send messages on our website. And I'm going to give you the website again. It's www.empoweredgirlsnc.org. Please leave a message. We're looking for uh, continuing our goal of $10,000 to make sure that we're able to continue with our sponsorship of Empowering Girls for the Future. Uh, now, we're going to close out with a mother of one of our empowered girls. Her name is Jasmine Evans, and her daughter is Haley. So, enjoy. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Hi, my name is Jasmine Evans, and I'm an empowered mom. Broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round, and you can't find a fighter, but I see it in you. We can walk it out. Move mountains. We can walk it out and move mountains. And I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day, I'll rise up in spite of the ache, I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. I'll rise up, high like the waves, I'll rise up in spite of the ache, I'll rise up, and I'll do it
glad we have.